Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the plat. For platypus is the name, and welcome to another Octopath Traveler 2 video. Today, I'm going to give you three early game team builds that I think you guys should think about trying. Basically, I unlocked all eight characters. I was looking at their skills, and I decided on uh, three kind of different angles for teams that I think would be fun to try as you go through the early game of Octopath Traveler 2. So, first the team that we're going to go with here is a more magical focused team and we are using agnia oswald casti and temidos 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 i can't say his name all right so the idea about this team is kind of just synergizing with doing a lot of magic damage but because you're kind of magic focused you have a lot of support and healing abilities as well so the real cornerstone of this entire build of this idea is going to be um mr oswald here now every character has a place and i think they're all very important in this team um but oswald is obviously a strong cornerstone of any magic identity team here between his great amounts of coverage and most importantly for me at least his advanced magic boost the intensity of a single ally's spells two times and the scales up you could put more juice into it but it's basically going to make these spells all hit twice however another reason why we're picking some of the characters we're picking specifically one of the other characters we're picking is temenos Temenos synergizes very, very strongly with advanced magic. So if you're running Oswald, there's a good chance you're going to be running, want to be running Temenos, at least in my opinion. So Temenos here has multiple abilities that will work with the advanced magic, namely Luminescence, which becomes Radiance, which deals light damage to all foes two times instead, and Revive. Instead of reviving all allies, this revives and greatly heals all allies. And it's the same SP cost. It still costs 40. So you revive all allies and you give them a shit ton of HP and you double attack here. So these are kind of like the main two damage dealers. Advanced magic is just very powerful. Being able to double up on these attacks, right? It's literally just the same attack, but twice as strong. So it'll allow you to break more shields and whatnot i mean he has some other good things here like elemental barrage is good but the single target stuff doesn't work with advanced magic even though it, the way it's worded implies all magic it only works with aoe magic so there's a lot of characters like i don't know particio that has like oh deal fire damage to a single foe but it doesn't matter it doesn't work with this because it has to be aoe magic which is kind of a weird distinction um maybe there'll be some more advanced version of this that will work on more abilities i don't know but so these are the two kind of cornerstones of what you would expect for the damage, especially with that revive ability. Being able to revive all allies and heal them is so good. Now, we're also running Agnea. Now, I think you could potentially replace Agnea or Casti here with like, you know, Chet if you want more coverage. Um, a Chet also has the owl that will always allow you to hit some sort of elemental weakness and you can get a lot of different pets that allow you to hit elemental weaknesses or physical weaknesses if you're feeling this is a little one note of a team. However, I really like Agnea uh, here specifically for a couple reasons. One, she has Ruinous Kick, so she can always hit a shield every turn, no matter what. She has probably the most insane latent power in the game, where it makes a single target ability a target everyone. That's an ability that's only going to get better and better and better as the game goes on. Um, like, significantly so, as you get abilities that are just more broken. Um, but she has, especially with her latent ability, she has the Peacock Strut here. Raise the elemental attack of a single ally for two turns. This will instead do it for the entire team. But even if you're not doing it for the entire team, if they're just giving it to Oswald or you're giving it to Temenos, this is going to make their damage go way, way, way up. So very, very good ability in general. Um, and also one of the reasons I like having Inventor, at least so far in the early game, um, on Agnia is that you got the springy boots here. Cause a single ally to act first for five turns. If you use this with their latent power, your entire team moves first for five turns. It makes speed an irrelevant stat for a long time. And then because she doesn't have that many attacks, although I, I'll be honest, the, uh, the catapult is not that good on her because she has the ruinous kick. It is AOE, but I think the springy boots combo is too strong to pass up. Um, so, but we're basically using her for the peacock strut combined with her ability to still break shields and use springy boots. Now she could also do wind damage if she needs to. That is an element that the other two characters don't have. So that is relevant sometimes. Um, and she just has a great, the great dancing abilities, right? That will 
passively increase stuff. Um, besides that, we're using Casty. Now, Casty also has an AoE, um, a potential AoE uh, revival. This I don't think this actually synergizes with Advanced Magic. Um, this would be, have to synergize if you had Agnia and then use uh, turn her into an Apothecary. That's that's what I was thinking of. Um, but so the main reason we're running Casty. It is a secondary revive method, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to use items, but really it's going to come down to nothing we even see here, right? It's going to be purely based on her, not latent ability, but her passive way, her concoct, right? She has the ability to concoct. And so with concoct, not only can you hit a light or like any elemental weakness you want again and again and again and again to help break things fast. She also has the ability to do an AOE SP full SP recovery of the entire party for no resources with her latent power. So kind of whatever you want, if your team starting to get low on SP, which is an SP heavy build essentially, right? You have characters that are using, you know, 14 plus SP a turn, you know, maybe you want to do that 40 SP. You're doing a lot of dances a lot of things like that so like it could easily run out of sp so having a character that could just kind of top everyone back off i think is like really important um and so that's why we're running exactly these characters that we are running um I'm trying to think if there's anything other there was a few other things I, I was thinking about i mean honestly cassie's just like really good in general all the characters are good um the fact that you can make someone weak to poison and then poison them so that you're breaking shields even if you don't have weaknesses this team is also pretty good at bypassing weaknesses right in general so even if your elemental stuff completely fails because they're only got physical resistances you have the ability to make them lose shields to poison you have the ability to just break shields regardless and you have temenos who has the latent power to just break shields so if you end up in later in the game getting him ability that could break six to eight shields like it's going to be insane and then he could always break four shields if you're using bp kitty cat get out of there kitty cat get out of there like that's being crazy all right so that's the first team seven minutes in let's go ahead and try to speed it up a little bit the next team is going to be a little more obvious here um we're going to change it up here i can't change agnia out of the party but it's basically going to be a more physical focused team and so we're basically going to replace um who am I replacing here? It would be it would be Agnia here with Ochet, basically. So I, I can't take her out of the party because she's the pro protagonist of this demo, but I'd be taking her out. It's a Hikari, Thorn, uh, sorry, Throne, uh, Casty, and a Chet. So the main idea behind these is that they're just the really, really strong physical hitters, right? Between the group of them, they have so many coverages. I suspect this team is a little more one note, but they're very powerful in general. They have insane damage outputs. Um, and, you know, between having things like Armor Corrosive able to lower the physical defense of a single foe, right? You can lower their attack because these guys already are going to have pretty high attack. Hikari especially is going to have really high attack and physical defense. Um, and he has lots of ways to buff himself up. Um, and honestly, I actually really think the, the ability for him to incite you know to draw foes to attack them then the ability to counter while she gives armor corrosive and shackle foe i think these are just like really good synergistic abilities cassie is in here because we need a you basically are going to need a healer of some kind temenos i don't think is going to work as well in this even though he does have a really powerful aoe heal which actually does work with the uh advanced magic that i forgot it goes from heal to heal more but regardless um just she has the ability to kind of do it all right she actually is a really good physical damage dealer um poison is pretty good it's not great against bosses but um she's got good physical damage out but while also having the concoct ability to help cover the weaknesses this team will have a lot of physical things not a lot of elemental ways to actually break through um so being able to suddenly use you know light damage four times uh, on an enemy is going to be really really good um and even though agnia i think might be like the most broken character in the game i don't know if she is going to quite fit in with this like yeah lion dance is good but i feel like like this character right already has the way to raise his own physical attack uh casty has the ability to use concoct which could use potentially using weeds on your own party to raise their stuff so i do think that even though agnia would be really good here i think ochet just adds so much damage overall that just having an, all these really high damage dealers back to back to back will just help you wipe out foes really good so whereas the elemental team i think is going to be better when it comes to aoe targets like you know because you have oswald tenmanos and you're just going bah bah blowing the shit up out of everything this team is going to have less really powerful aoe but better single target burst um so i think the other team elements will be better for farming overall and this team will be better for, probably for killing bosses things like that 
So those are the first two teams, which I think the second one's a little more self-explanatory. It didn't need as much stuff going on. Um, I kind of wish I could take her out of here so I could just show what the team was like. But the third and final team is what I call the fourth wall team. This is the Platts fourth wall team, basically. What are we doing? We're doing the characters that essentially that I like. This is the team that I'm going to be running. It's going to be exactly what you see here. We're going to be running Agnia, Hikari, Particio, and Thro uh, Throne. Why are we running these characters? Very specific reason. Each of them is a very, very specific reason why we're running them. Um, and only one of them is because I like them. Hikari is going to be my protagonist. He is by far my favorite. It's not even close. I don't need to think about it. He is going with me for... I'm going with him for the entirety of the game, probably. Um, we'll we'll take him out for different things as we need to and do experiment with other team comps. But he's the one I'm most excited to play, so that's why I'm going with him. These other characters all have something very important that is the reason why I'm picking them. And this is the lower the amount of time it's going to take to grind support skill. Hard worker. Receive additional JP after battles on the dancer. We go to Particio. He gets more money. And honestly, even though Particio, I think, isn't going to be the best in any combat situation, the fact that he helps you make more money, the fact that he helps you, one, just for doing fights, but also from selling goods, buying goods, um, I love that. And he has the arrow of fortune, which is going to help you get even more JP in every fight. Um, it's just exactly what I want. You know, I, I like characters that help you with the economy and the grinding of the game. So Particio is perfect for that. And Throne, even though it doesn't seem like she has that much stuff going on, her last ability here, Life in the Shadows, receive additional EXP and JP after battles at night. So if you wanted to replace Hikari, you could replace Hikari with a... Um, uh, Oswald. Oswald has a ability to increase EXP gained. Increase the maximum damage that can be dealt by the equipping character to 99,999. This is probably going to be important. Uh, <laughs> that's that's scary. Um, but you could go ahead and put Oswald in here. That way you could have the increase your JP, increase your EXP, and then increase your EXP and JP. These are all different abilities, so they are stacking, or at least they should. Um, but this is the Platts meta team. Hikari is going to be my protagonist. And then we're going to get Particio, Throne, and Agnia. And they're probably going to be the stories we complete first. We're going to get everybody first and foremost. But these are going to be the four that I focus on grinding up first. Because I really care about getting all that extra JP and experience. Because I kind of want to just get everything maxed out on all the characters. So I could really have some fun figuring out what combinations are super broken. And how you could easily get there. But yeah, that's kind of a few teams that I think you guys should think about trying when you start the game. And it comes out this Friday, um, which is not tomorrow, but the next day. So uh, don't forget, we're doing a stream here when the game comes out. It's going to be a good time. We're all going to be enjoying it. One of you guys will be winning the game. That, that video should have come out a couple hours ago. I'm doing the announcement video at like this morning. It's not important that you, you guys don't care. But the announcement video should already be out there. So if you were in the giveaway go check out that announcement video i haven't yet recorded it because it is not the day of that i promised i would do it but that video is going to come out first and then this one will anyway that's all much love for platypus is for platypus we got a lot more octopath videos coming if you have any good ideas for videos let me know i'm taking down ideas writing them down but i'm going to be working on builds like oh where to get these items early what items are really good for this you know uh what support skills what kind of multi-class stuff we're going to get into all of it don't worry the game's not even out yet Let's go ahead and get into the game, have some fun, learn about the game, and then we'll start breaking it and figuring out how insanely OP everything can be. All right. Anyway, much love. See you guys later. You have a good one.